Uh, but first, only three days to go, can you believe it, until William and Kate's big day. And forecasters are warning that the couple may have to have their brollies up because oh. even though we've just experienced the hottest Easter in 62 years, the weather is set to take a nosedive with predictions of April showers this Friday. Oh. I know. But uh, would bad weather put a dampener on your, on your wedding day? Does it really matter that much? Well, um, I've had three, so I've had three lots, <laughs> three lots of weather, basically. <laughs> three goes um, yes, I did a November jobby, so it was a bit parky, so you had to make the decision, are you going to be cold, you know, mm. at some point, and that was fine. Then it poured with rain for my second wedding, and he was Italian, and apparently that's very good luck in Italy. Well, it wasn't in England. <laughs> <laughs> and then, for Mr Spain, it's the sun shone, and it was all marvellous, yes. Aww. So, it, it, but the rain is a problem, I think, yeah. uh, because... But, but the, the the weather in England is a problem. Like, you know, you if you're going to be cold at one point or you're going to be wet at the next, you really never know what to wear, which I think actually affects people moan about sometimes about our style in this country. But it is really hard. To, you have to dress th three lots of clothes, go out in the morning, you know, mm. middle of the day and end of the day. So, but uh, it didn't spoil our wedding. I think you've got to work around it, really. I've had two <laughs> weddings. And um, I am so affected by the weather, as, as you yeah. will know. In fact, before I met Andrea, I didn't like her and I wanted to punch her because <laughs> I can't bear it when the weather people go, um, and it's going to be beautiful and sunny today, but tomorrow it all changes again. Have a good weekend. I want to punch them like that. Why do they have to tell you? <laughs> oh, because Why do they have to tell you that? Truth. You can't lie. Yeah, um, I love you now. Oh, thank you so much. But yes, I've had two, two weddings. The first wedding, it was in October, and it was glorious and glory, you know, lovely and sunny, and I thought that was going to be my marriage. Sadly, it wasn't. And the second marriage to Tim was in October. Um, planned that because I was about to have a baby. Um, that was in the October, and it was thick fog, like a Sherlock Holmes mystery. The photographer had a car crash, luckily not a serious one, on the way on, on the way to the thing, and you couldn't see the wood for the trees. And that's been my marriage, you know, not knowing what I was getting into. <laughs> In a um, bit of a fog, not really but, knowing what's no, going on. No, no, no. But anyway, but yes, so I just hope it does, you know, pick up for them on Well, I mean, Friday. to pick up on what, on what you said, when I did the weather, um, I did used to get a lot of people coming and stopping me in the street and saying, no. oh, it's you. <laughs> now, my daughter's getting married in July next year. Can you tell me what the weather's going to be like? So I, I didn't ever want to disappoint them. So I used to say, is, is it a morning or afternoon wedding? They go, oh, it's about two o'clock. So I go, hmm, on the 29th, right. I think it'll start off a bit hazy, but it should be nice and dry <laughs> by the afternoon. And they went away happy. You just so have to tell people what you, you wanted to hear. Lie. You did lie. That, well, to be honest, if someone's asking you the weather a year in advance for the afternoon... But the funny thing about your wedding, know. funny thing about Andrea's wedding, um, was that it was a glorious day, was the groom. but I still ended up in wellies covered in cheese and onion crisps. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> like, I woke up the next day, I had pink wellies on with crisps on I still on remember. Me. I remember my dad hiding because you mounted him on the dance exactly. floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. I mounted your husband and you, and me, yeah. <laughs> I think people have got to manage their expectations. You know, if you, if you live in Great Britain, then yes. obviously you've got to expect that the, the weather might be rubbish because, you know, it's what we're known for. But also... The good thing about the British people is that it does it never stops them. No. You know, if it's if it's raining or if it's, you know, miserable or something goes wrong. I mean, you know, the weather, it's not the worst thing that can go wrong, is it? What if the groom doesn't turn up? Exactly. I mean, that's <laughs> pretty bad, isn't it? Or if someone, yeah. you know, there are worse things that can happen. The weather isn't the worst thing, but so many things can go wrong with a wedding. Sometimes you just have to accept that some things are going to go wrong and make the best of it. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen that... Um, there's a fantastically hilarious clip on YouTube about this couple who went to California to get married on the beach mm -hmm. and, unfortunately, the weather didn't go... Because you'd think California, yeah. on the beach, yeah. lovely, mm. you, it didn't go Camel according Anderson, to plan. By. Yeah, a bit like that, you would expect it. But uh -huh. no, it went absolutely wrong and a, a, a typhoon kind of blew well, up. Let, let's have a look, because actually we've, we've, we've dug it out, yeah. we've got a clip. One of those things But don't ever bet me. That's California. That's California.
California and they went to the beach the next day because it was so windy on the actual wedding day the next day she just wanted to have a picture in her dress on the beach yeah. you know with the with the, the scenery and everything so that was the next day and they thought oh this is it the picture and there was no sea or waves or anything and suddenly that great big wave came in and oh swept away gosh. but they laughed the whole way through it and at the end of that the, the whole clip if you look it up they are saying you know it was the best wedding day ever because well, you'll life, never forget it life it is hilarious. not about waiting for the storm to pass it's learning to dance in the rain oh. Oh. Great. there you go <laughs> i prefer it when you tell dirty jokes <laughs> <laughs>